add location support to your application, you simply need to include a location sensor component. In this sample application here, I have a switch that's used to set the active property to true. And then there's an event on the location sensor that fires on location changed. And I have some code already in here. And what happens is as soon as the location is determined or if the location changes, then this event will fire and we'll construct a URL here to Google Maps. And we'll get the new locations, latitude and longitude, and we'll display it to the user and then navigate to that URL here. And what this will do is display the uh, map of the current location here in this T Web Browser component. Now, in XE8, we also include a new map component, which you can find out more about here in the doc wiki, the map view component, and it works on both iOS and Android. But for simplicity's sake, right now, we're just showing you how to add location awareness to your application. But if you want to have a full blown map, then that's a highly recommended way to go. So let's take a look at this in action on the iPad. So the very first time it runs, when I tap the switch and enable the location sensor, it's going to prompt me to allow access to location. This is the way iOS handles uh, location security. So once I hit allow, it never asks me that again. We see it's turned my latitude and longitude and shows my location right here in the Scotts Valley office. Here we see it running on Android. Now with Android, the Location is handled through the permission in the manifest. And so as soon as the user installs the application, they're prompted and they never see anything at runtime. So as soon as I activate the switch here, we see it pops up with the latitude and longitude and the browser navigates to the location. And we see there it is again in the offices in Scotts Valley. This has been a brief overview of adding location support to your applications.